five, we were doing the saving accounts. Okay, saving accounts, We I think we reached uh, lesson three, 5.3. So lesson 5.3 is, uh, was about uh, computing the new balance uh, of the saving accounts. Now, if we continue from there, we're gonna have, we're gonna start the things that are probably more interesting to you, which is calculating the symbol interest and the amount, okay? Uh, section lesson four uh, will be talking about simple interest lesson five will be talking about compound interest lesson six also compound interest but by using a table probably we're not going to use the table we're going to use the formula more than the table so the interest formula is more is more accurate and then we're going to be calculating the interest uh, for a daily compounding the last thing we're going to be doing computing a future value of the ordinary annuity and annuity due to definitely we're not going to be able to finish all this in, in one week so we're going to take us take us a couple of weeks to do that so let's let's go ahead and start working on, on what we probably can be doing this uh, this week i remember one and two and three should have been done by now hopefully uh, now we talk about uh, 5.4 5.4 which is the interest all right so it's simple interest so let's go ahead and go start here. So a simple interest uh, from the name of it, it's uh, something you already know, you've been doing it all your life. You, you probably didn't know that you were doing it for uh, professionally, but this is how it works. So when you, when you have a money in the, in the bank and you want to get an interest on that, that amount of money, uh, the bank will give you some, some percentages and you'll go from there. So I'll, I'll show you an example here. This guy uh, has a deposit of $9,000. He's, he's been promised for 5.5% interest rate. And uh, they want us to calculate how much money he's going to have in the bank after three years, after three months, after three days. Okay. So the way it works, this is a general uh, way of doing it. So you say, well, the 9,000 is going to be deposited multiplied by the 5.5%. Now, for how long you keep in it, you're keeping it for three years. So you multiply it, direct multiplication. So that means your 9,000 becomes what? Becomes uh, uh, $10,485. Okay, so that's how much money you're gonna have in the bank by that time. All right. So uh, the the next one here is what is gonna be, uh, I think for three months. Yes, three months. So three months we're gonna do it as a fraction because here's the the multiplication here is done on a yearly basis. Why we're doing a yearly basis? Because we have the percentage in a in a year on a yearly basis. So when I say 5.5 percent per year, so that means a number here has to be per year. Now, uh, three months, it's not, a, it's not the three years, right? So we can here, we need to distinguish. So three months is, is a fraction of a year. So what, how, how much is a fraction? So it's one fourth, one fourth of a year. So you need to, to multiply one fourth of a year by the 5.5% times the nine, uh, the 9,000, uh, you end up with uh, a final amount of 9,123. So remember, this is not the interest. This is actually uh, the final amount. So the interest, we'll able to figure out how much is the interest later on, okay? So uh, this is like two steps kind of procedure, all right? So here's the interest. It shows, for example, 1,400. Here's the interest shows 123. The interest here shows that it's, I think, $4 or something. Now at the end, you add it to the original amount. So you ended up with the original with the final. So it's easy, by the way, it's not a big deal. Algebra, like we, we decided there's always the algebra questions where we're going to have something missing. It doesn't have to be a fine answer is missing. It could be, for example, here, the principal, the amount that we invested. Uh, other questions, well, they might ask us about a missing uh, interest rate uh, or a missing time limit. Okay, how long we kept it in the bank. So we could have a lot of things missing, either the principal, the rate, or the time. Uh, and they would give us, uh, for example, the final amount, which is the interest, right? So that's algebra. Here we involve algebra. It's not heavy algebra, but it, it's still algebra. The compound interest is also another thing. So this is done uh, uh, compounded so that your interest is gaining other interest on top of that. So also we're going to be taking this. So it's going to take us like this week, we're going to do this uh, and hopefully we'll finish uh, both sections by that time. Okay, guys. So I'll talk to you later.